Hey, welcome to Mob Tales with Nick Christophers. I'm Nick Christophers, by the way. Good to see you guys back again. Hope you've been enjoying the stories. I got a new one today. We're going to talk a little bit about the Irish guys. Basically, the Westies. The Westies were a gang that were under the Gambinos for a little while with Paul de Castellano. They were on the west side of Manhattan. 10th Avenue, 11th Avenue, 42nd, 43rd, around that area. Uh, they ran that whole section for during the 70s, 80s. Guys like Jimmy Coonan, Mickey Featherstone, Mickey Spillane, uh, all those characters. Uh, during that time period, there was a guy, I'm going to talk about a lot of guys, Greeks, Italians, Jews, so forth. There's one guy, uh, his name is Billy Comas. Billy Comas was a Greek guy. And he used to run with Jimmy Coonan and Mickey Featherstone and Mickey Spillane and all them. They used to hang out at a bar called the Blocker Bar, which was a Greek bar in on the west side of Manhattan. And Billy Comas used to hang out there with all those guys. So Billy Comas did a lot of counterfeiting, uh, shylocking, loan sharking, all that kind of stuff with those guys. He moved a lot of swag too through the through that through that area through the Blocker Bar. Uh, one time Billy Comas thought of an idea, and he wanted with, he talked to Mickey Spillane and all them. And I think it was Jimmy Coonan actually, and. There was a, another Greek guy, Nicky Daristakis, out in Jersey, that was running some counterfeit, uh, counterfeit bills, with this other guy, Pete Christie. And he told the Irish guys, hey, listen, we got to get on, jump on top of this deal. This might be good. We can make some good money. All right. They went along with it. So they went up to Jersey, had this little meeting, meeting with Nick. And unfortunately, it turned out that one of the guys that was with Nick was actually an FBI undercover agent. And they all got pinched. Billy was up to get whacked, actually, because they got pissed off that he was the one who set it up. Billy eventually went to jail. And when he was in jail during that time period, the feds were trying to break him to hope that he would say something, that he would give him some details on the Westies. Billy wouldn't say anything at first. Then eventually he was thinking about it, and he thought about it, and he thought about it. And they figured maybe he's going to do something. Eventually, he hung himself in prison because he didn't want to open his mouth. And that's what kind of was the kind of demise of Billy Comas over there on the, with the Westies. Now, the Westies, to give you a little more background about them, Paulie Castellano used to, ho used to hire the Westies to do a lot of dirty work where, he, where it wouldn't, you know, lead to him. Uh, well, the ironic part of that whole thing, really, to give you a quick uh, snapshot, uh, Carlo Gambino wanted to take out the Westies because they actually kidnapped his nephew. And he wanted him, the nephew back. They made a deal with the Irish guys that will throw you a bunch of money if you let my nephew go. John Gotti was actually responsible for the whole thing, believe it or not. This is when Gotti was small. And they told him, listen, you got to take out one of the Westies because they, they actually ended up killing Carlo Gambino's nephew, rather than returning him like they were supposed to. John Gotti was high, was told by Carlo Gambino himself, you got to take care of this. You're going to take a fall, but you got to take care of this. That was a story that a lot of people know about, where John Gotti, Angelo Ruggiero, and Ralph Gallione went to meet up with Jimmy McBratney at the Cozy Corner Bar. And they, uh, they whacked him, but it wasn't John Gotti who whacked him. Let's make that straight. It was Richie, Richie, it was Ralph Gallione who actually shot him. Even though Gotti got praised for it and even got his button because of it. But that's another more intricate story that one day we'll get into. But just remember, I'm going to tell everything that's true and honest. And you're not going to hear no bullshit from me. Nick Christopher from Mob Tales. Check in with me next time. Want to learn more? NickChristopher.org. Nice talking to you.